Hello Capricorn, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be doing a single spread. So let's start with how you are perceived by the opposite sex or same sex, whatever is your preference. We have Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Capricorn ruling our tenth house. People see you as extremely hardworking, very dedicated to your goals. You're someone who's extremely ambitious, very persistent. And once you give your loyalty to something, someone, you don't give up easily. Ten of Wands. You have a lot of patience and you're very dedicated to what you set your mind to. So yeah, your first impression is that you're reliable, you're someone who's steady, you have a good head on your shoulders, and you would be someone who'd make a great lifelong partner. People see you as someone who's capable, right, of having long-term relationships. So people take you, take you seriously when they first lay eyes on you is what I'm getting. Pretty much seeing you as Capricorn, who you are, yeah. <laughs> that is not much more to add to that. Why is Ten of Wands here, actually? Yeah, that you have goals, you have plans. And you're slowly but surely going to work your way up the ladder. Why is Eight of Pentacles here? Strength. Yeah, I'm getting patience. Again, a lot of hopes, dreams, you're very ambitious. And you're also someone who has strong willpower. You don't give up easily. It's the same messages coming through over and over again. Your attitude when it comes to love, we have Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Uh, Knight of Cups is a very open energy. He has his cup held out. You're very supportive, and I think you're ready. You're open to receive love. But what is this Nine of Swords about? Nine of Swords can be overthinking. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Maybe some difficult ending, a chapter you've been closing out. Nine of Wands, right, is our wounded warrior. We have the bruises. So you've been through it, but you haven't lost your hope, right? You're still idealistic when it comes to love to some extent, but there's a little bit of a cautious approach here. Moving forward, some of you could have been dealing with lighty people. You know, they're here one minute, they're gone the next. They're not the most consistent. They promise more than they can deliver. So you're just a bit more careful moving forward. Your positive traits as a lover, we have King of Wands, Two of Cups. You're the only sign to get Two of Cups so far for positive traits. You're very cooperative in relationships, easygoing, with a great sense of humor. You're very adventurous. You bring a lot of excitement to those people you date, you've dated in the past. You're very eager to try new things. King of Wands can be a traveler. Some of you may like to travel, hike, move your body. It's a very passionate energy as well. You bring a new perspective to the table uh, for your lovers and they really appreciate that. And you open their mind to a lot of new different things. You instill confidence in your partners is what I'm getting. And you offer a lot of emotional support here as well. And you're a lot of fun to be around in the bedroom with the King of Wands. You may like to experiment a lot. You know, it is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Two of Cups is Venus in Cancer. You're very flexible with your partners, really open to hearing their point of view. People feel loved and cared for in your presence. Negative qualities as a lover, we have Hierophant and Empress. These two are both very beautiful cards. I wasn't really getting much negativity here, but there is a stubbornness. With Hierophant and Empress, that's Taurus energy, the bull ruling our second house. I can interpret this in a few ways. For one, it can be that there is a tendency to be a bit more materialistic or too focused on the material world. You were coming through as very hardworking, right? So that may be an issue. Some of your partners may complain you don't give them enough time. Taurus is a fixed sign. There can be some control issues, some possessiveness. I don't primarily get that, but, but yeah, there needs to be some sort of balance here between work and play because how you can overcome this, we have Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Yeah, making taking more time out, taking small breaks, being easy on yourself. And Queen of Pentacles is someone who has a good balance between her home and her work life. So that is why I'm feeling it has something to do with your dedication to your goals. That is proving to be a bit of a challenge. 
and spending quality time with those around you and just scheduling some vacation time, small breaks is what is coming through. Because both Queen of Pentacles and Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, I was telling you, it's, it's a work home life balance and Four of Swords, Four represents our fourth house, which is also comforts of the home, right? So there needs to be that balance. What kind of relationships you've been attracting? We have Magician, Ace of Pentacles. I don't see any negativity here, Capricorn. I don't see major challenges. I see you attracting the right kinds of people. Either in the past or moving forward, you will be. I see you manifesting stability, people with substance, and very grounded energies to you. I'm getting strong Virgo. It is a general reading, but what I am getting here mainly is that you are manifesting the right types of people towards you, and you're the only sign that I've received this so far. I do have six to film, but so far it's beautiful, so keep manifesting, keep your thoughts positive, you're on the right track here. What kind of partners you need to attract? We have the lovers, eight of cups, three of pentacles. You need lovers that you have a strong intellectual bond with, is what I'm getting with Gemini coming through twice. We also have Virgo here. So yeah, people that can be team players. There, there's that equal give and tape. Reciprocity is what, what I was trying to say. But yeah, people that also aren't carrying past emotional baggage, right, into this relationship with you. And people that don't hold on to grudges, right? And they're open to communicate. If there's any problems, issues between the both of you, you can both sit down and work together with the three of pentacles as a team, right? So that is what you need. Someone who's not overtly emotional, but someone who's willing to talk it out with you is, is the vibe. Someone that you have a strong intellectual bond, a friendship with, but also a passion with lovers. When you may meet your new love, we have Ace of Cups. So normally Capricorn, Ace of Cups for timing is summer. And Ace of Cups for timing doesn't seem too long, but we'll see. I have this timing deck. We'll do this for fun. I don't really believe in predicting time in personal or general readings. Sometimes it's way off because we can't predict divine timing accurately according to me and everyone's on different timelines, right? But for fun, let's see. When can Capricorn singles attract their new love? I feel it's not long from now if I look at the rest of your spread, right? because you are manifesting new love. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, two aces. When will Capricorn singles meet their new love? Hmm. They're saying allow things to come. Yeah, they don't want to chase. They don't want you to chase. They don't want you to wait. They're saying it, allow things to come to you. So new love will find you. You don't have to go searching for it. Just be in that vibration of attracting what you were. Knight of Cups is an open heart. We have next month. Wow, some of you. You can find new love in February if you are. Yeah, and I was saying summer, right? With Ace of Cups. We also have August. August. When will, and we have October. Some of you could be attracting, <laughs> yeah. It also says in your, it's not too late. So some of you may feel you're running out of time. Um, you're too old for love. I don't know what your insecurities are with nine of swords, but your guides are reassuring you it's not too late. And we have in your own time. I'm losing my voice, Capricorn, but it also has in your own time. Exactly what I was telling you, everyone's on different timelines. So it really depends who this person is that you're attracting. We have five of pentacles, clarified by four of cups, king of pentacles, queen of cups, can be an earth sign with water placements or a water sign, water sign with earth placements. This seems to be someone who's a businessman, businesswoman. They're very intuitive, but there's some struggles. Some of you, it may be someone who's a single parent or they've left a long-term relationship. They don't seem to be very satisfied 
with where they're at. A lot of you, this has to do with their finances. I do want to pull out this other deck and get more information about this person. A lot of you, this is a new love. You don't know them. But also with the fool, there was a depiction of a baby. So yeah, that single parent energy I was getting for some of you. Because we have the child on the five of pentacles and we have the queen of cups is pregnant here. And others of you that this person doesn't have a child already or you don't, this can also be someone who wants children, who wants a family, and they're feeling very lonely. They're not satisfied with the options that are being presented to them. They're still very hopeful, but sometimes they sort of go back and forth between being pessimistic and optimistic. So there's a little bit of moodiness. Anything else you can tell me about Capricorn Singles New Love? What are they like, their personality? Anything about them? Capricorn Singles New Love. This is not an in-depth reading because I wanted to keep the focus on you. We'll do more readings here in the future. Detailed readings, but this is sort of just the overall energy of this person coming in. Come on, cards. Justice, I love this for you. Yeah, this person's very fair, just, balanced. They're someone of integrity. Yeah, the, the negative trait of this person that you'll notice is their indecision. See, once they commit with that King of Pentacles, they're not one to back down. You're similar to this person, so it does take them a bit of time to come to a conclusion, right? Weighing the pros and cons. Are we suitable? Is this a beneficial relationship? Are we compatible? So there's a lot that goes on. This person does really think through um, before they involve themselves in relationship situations. It's a careful approach similar to yourself. But this person does the yeah, reciprocal energy I was getting here for what you need to attract. They will be. What you give is what you'll get back. Some of them may have Venus and Libra. If this person feels they're being taken advantage of, they'll be quick to put uh, pull back their energy. They have strong boundaries. Justice does not um, put up with unfairness, right? or any imbalance of any kind. Anything else you can tell me about Capricorn singles? New love? Temperance, yeah. I was talking about balance. Temperance is also a card of patience, balance, healing, Sagittarius energy. We have two major arcana representing this person. They do seem to be manifesting you. They've been healing and working on themselves. Because we have five of cups. Because we have five of cups with nine of cups. So there is some disappointments, right? Goals that they didn't reach, some wish fulfillment, a relationship that they thought was the one, but it didn't turn out as they had anticipated. But they're getting back their emotional balance here, right? Whatever the situation was, it really threw them off emotionally. And they have been healing. They're in the Nine of Cups energy, or they will be getting there. A lot of you, this person has done the work. They're very hopeful when it comes to their love life. But they're also not naive by any means. For some of you, another thing I'm noticing about this person is that... You know, right now they've been they've learned their lessons with justice. Maybe they were dealing with some karmic lessons here, karmic relationships. But in the past, they may have a tendency to be a bit of an extremist. So when they're not focused on love, they're entirely whatever task is at hand, right? The mundane, their school, uh, their work, right? Just their daily job, whatever they do for a living, and they can neglect their love life. But when, they're folk, when they have a love interest, they can get very fixated on that energy that they start neglecting the more material, you know, day to day. 
So they need to find some sort of balance, and I think they're working on that with justice. Because Queen of Cups can be an energy that tends to get lost in their lovers, that they forget who they are. And I think that is a lesson this person is learning here, to prioritize oneself and their needs, and not rely on other people, relationships for their happiness. It's a mature energy, Capricorn. They've been through challenges and they're wiser for it. Yeah, as I said, that Queen of Swords was wanting to come through. Anything else you want to tell me about Capricorn Singles' new love? Let's get one more. Knight of Wands, <laughs> Sagittarius energy. So we have Libra and Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles, Magician. That's crazy. Two different decks and we have the same energy. Some of you may already know this person. Or they're not far from you is what I'm getting. Magician, Ace of Pentacles, you're manifesting them. Same cards for what you were attracting here in the past. And some of you, this opportunity is at a distance. But I'm seeing options here. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Nine of Cups. Yeah, they seem to be um, open when it comes to their love life, exploring their options, getting attention from others. They may be playing the field for some of you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're looking for someone that's honest. They're looking for a new beginning here in their love life. A lot of you I'm getting, they're coming out of some sort of painful ending, a disappointment, five of cups, and they're seeking a new beginning, which will be you, someone they have a strong intellectual bond with, ace of swords and magician. Capricorn singles, materialistic love. I'm not surprised. We had a lot of pentacles. Let's hope this relationship is not just about the money and gifts. You'll only end up feeling miserable. So go for what captures your heart, not what captures your eye, um, is what I'm being reminded of here. Because there can be a little bit of materialism here that was coming through as a blockage. Whether from you or this person, I'm not sure. They're also the king of pentacles, so they can be very money focused. And social expectations. Yeah, wasn't I saying intellectual affair? Some of you, this relationship may be on again, off again because of the distance I was seeing. But I was telling you about intellectual affair. There will be a strong intellectual bond. A love influenced by logic. Overanalyzing could be an issue. With social expectations, one or both of you may be playing it safe. This person's very concerned about their reputation, their status. Is what I'm getting. We have keeping up the outward appearances, but inwardly wasting away is not fair to you or your partner. Learn to let go. There was some dissatisfaction here in this person's life. It can be as simple as expectations being put on this person or that they have to fulfill, and that is causing them a lot of dissatisfaction. So that is something they need to uh, work on here, right? It can be demanding parents, but there is something here. It's putting up with appearances and wasting away. Yeah, Four of Cups. This Four of Cups is a dis, it's just satisfaction, boredom, right? Not feeling inspired. Our heart's not in it. But we also have that power to change our circumstances. At least this energy does. So I think they're, they'll get there. And I think you will help them get out of this rut here as well. Because in the Four of Cups, we have that one cup standing behind him and he's not paying attention. And we had the Ace of Cups here. So this new beginning in love will be you. And I think you will bring forth changes for this person here as well. It's a very sweet, stable energy and it will be very transformative for both of you. This love will be love deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. For your advice, we have love sacrifice. Don't sacrifice yourself in seeking love. You'll end up unhappy and hating yourself for it. 
Be with someone who makes you feel good. Yeah, with that materialistic love, it's not what someone can provide, right? Materially, um, or what is looks appealing to the eyes. It's more about what captures your heart. So be with someone who makes you feel good. They make you feel accepted, cherished, and they accept you for who you are, right? Not for what you look like or what you have in the bank account. So let's get one more for your advice, Capricorn singles. Ego trip. Yeah, it's not over. This is what you were dealing with, it seems, in the past. They know they missed out on a good person. Their mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away. Now it's your turn to be chased. Few of you, you're single. This may be a past person that rejected you or you've rejected with the four of cups five of pentacles and they're missing you so they're wanting to make their way around back around to you but listen to your intuition with this one and others of you this is what you're leaving behind right because it says their mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away and you have you've left toxic situations mindsets whatever that was holding you back and you're moving forward you're on the right track and your guides are saying it's not over don't turn your back on love. Love isn't easy, not for anyone. You can't push it away because there's a few bad apples. Keep fighting. Yeah, there will be bad apples here on your journey, right? Lessons, but they don't want you to lose. They don't want you to lose hope and love. The real deal will be coming. Keep fighting and keep pushing forward and don't turn your back. It's not over. There will be someone that's on your level coming towards you oh wow i didn't even look at the bottom deck energy we have joy and old-fashioned so yeah king of pentacles for a lot of you is a bit of a can be conservative but traditional wine dine courting you they like traditional roles if that is what you want it seems like a beautiful energy and it's also someone who won't rush you into anything and they're very patient they'll give you um, time and space as well to really get to know them it's beautiful but yes capricorn that is what i have for you take care of yourself and i'll see you next week bye